Hello everyone, Bentley Kay here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a everyday glam. That's what we're going to do for the eyes. And I'm going to be using my Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. And I don't know what colors I'm going to use. I'll show you as I go. I am going to start off with my Essence Eye Base. So putting my eye base on and then I am going to set this base with a shadow just to make the canvas I'm working with, my eyes, smooth so that nothing skips. And I am going to use the color Humble right here, the lightest color in the palette. to set that with. And I'm just taking an old fluffy brush that I've had forever that I got at Walmart and it has no name and it's a double ended one and I'm they don't have it anymore so just any kind of big fluffy soft brush works. Okay now I am going to go into I think this kind of burgundy color. Oh, it has a name. Never mind. Russet. Mmm. Russet sounds like it's going to be brown, but it looks kind of burgundy to me. And I'm going to put that in the crease. I'm going to use my Morphe M505 for it. Did I show it to you? Right there. Russet. And so this is just like a glam that you can wear every day. That's why it's called Everyday Glam. And I'm just going to keep blending this until it gets softer and until I get most of it off my brush. And then I'm just going to pull it up and let it be my transition color too because there's not that much left on there. So it'll be lots lighter. And if you have wrinkly eyes, make sure you pull those wrinkles out so that you get color inside there. Otherwise it just accentuates them if they look like stripes. And I'm just going to go back in and get a little bit more and put it on the outer half of my lid. Okay, now I am going to go, I'm going to keep this because I'm probably going to use this again. I'm going to go in with this red right there. It's called Rogue, Rogue Red. And I am going to take a little bit stiffer of a brush. This is a e.l.f. brush and it has zero writing on it. Looks like it used to have writing. No, maybe not. That was just makeup. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks like a blending brush, but it's a little bit denser. And I'm going to use that. And I'm going to put it in the outer corner. And then I am going to go in with a little bit of concealer and I'm going to use my, this is a concealer I always try to use when I am putting it on my lid and it is the Tarte Creaseless. And I'm 
just going to get some on a brush. And then I'm just going to go into the inner half of the lid. And then I'm going to take, no, this is the brush I used for the red. I don't want to take that one. I am going to take, I think I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to go into this. Charmer, the second one right there. And put that right on top of the. Yeah, that didn't work. Let's try the next one over. It's called Beaming. That's better. And I'm going to take that brush that I used for the red and just kind of blend them. Okay, I'm going to go back in underneath with a little bit. I was going to use this one, but this is like way too big. So, I'm going to go in with this brush. This is a Sephora brush. It's a Sephora Pro Smudge. Number 11, 111, no, nope, number 11. And I'm gonna go into the red, the rogue, and just put this out here so that we can connect these up. Put it right along the lash line and into the corner. And then I'm going to go in with this guy into this russet one, the burgundy colored one, and just kind of smudge out the bottom. Just to give it that smoky look. Okay, I think I've used enough brushes now. I am going to go in with my black tattoo liner. That's the brown one. From Maybelline, my studio tattoo. And I'm going to push line. And I'm gonna go in with my flat brush and I'm going to smudge out that liner And now I am going to go in with a liquid liner. Seems like I just got a new liquid liner. Maybe not. Oh no, Anastasia Beverly Hills has a new liquid liner, but I didn't get it. So we're gonna use our roller ball and I'm just gonna add a wing cause this is everyday glam.
Okay, I am going to go off camera and pop on some lashes and do my brows and I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. I was going to put on a set of lashes, but I couldn't find them. I have a brand new set somewhere, but I couldn't find them. So I just curled my lashes a couple times and put on my false lash effect from Essence. And I think they look okay. But for a glam look, I was going to, you know, for everyday glam, I was going to put on lashes, but I can't find them. Maybe next time we do an everyday glam. So I also added my lipstick. I used, this is the Super Stay from Maybelline Ink Crayon in the color Lead the Way. And then I topped it with this. This is from L'Oreal. This is the best lipstick lip gloss in the world. It is so beautiful and so sparkly. It is a glowing lip gloss and this is the color Shall We Dance? Shell, as in seashell. Because last time I said it, I said shall and it's wrong. It's Shall We Dance? And it is so pretty. And it smells delicious. So those are those two. And then this is for the lashes. And then for my brows, I use my new Essence no, Catrice. Um, eyebrow stylist in the color Brown Eyed Peas. And I really like it. At first when I was putting it on, I thought, oh, this one's a lot redder than my old one that they don't make anymore. But then when I got it on, I'm like, and now maybe it's just, I like it because it matches this shadow. So we shall see next time. But I liked it this time. So I used that and I forgot to spray. So I'm going to do that right now. And that shall bring back all the glow in this foundation. Ooh, and my hair, hopefully, because it's wet. Okay, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it on, on all your social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all those so that we get lots more. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, too, if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.